y'all doing? So, I'm a nerd, so I did a poem on chemistry. <laughs> I hate chemistry. I hate chemistry. I hate the entity that explains the very air we breathe. I hate to see the leaves turn green. Wait, that's not right. I hate the interaction between the sky and a tree, the capture of CO2 that we can't breathe, and the reaction that releases the oxygen that we receive. I hate energy. Not like Gatorade. Actually, now that I think about it, the whole charged particles dispersing like blood pumping from a heart is too hard to understand, plus the taste is too tart. <laughs> I hate the organic combustion in an oven all of a sudden. Turning something into nothing like wildfire. I hate it, don't want to take it, won't debate it. And if I'm forced to, I'll degrade it and say it's not worth my time of day, it's overrated. I hate work. Oh, that, that part makes sense. No, literally. The price of one kilowatt hour is 12 cents, but that's just too much for me to comprehend. Chemistry is hard. Nature's art has too many parts. There's too much addition and subtraction in the chemical reaction. Why do I need to know what happens when I fart? <laughs> you see, chemistry is more than an occupation. It's an explanation of global warming. It's a conversation about the titration that you use in the mitigation of pollution so that we can enjoy God's greatest creation, smart one. It's, it's the so that we can enjoy God's greatest creation. It even explains the simple sensation of a relationship and the combination of evaporation, condensation, and precipitation that used to be known as Aphrodite's losing her patience. <laughs> its innovation allows for the preservation of not only what we eat, but the kidney replacement that she will die if she doesn't receive. So next time you want to say chemistry is stupid, do this. Go home and pour out all the chemicals in your fridge, because milk is too basic. <laughs> Alcohol has no basis, and H2O, hell no. It has no color at all. Guys, water milk erases. <laughs> A little joke I use to show that you need to know chemistry to understand. That's not how water flows. Its intermolecular forces are important immensely. The electron density has a high intensity on oxygen, which attracts the H's of a, of a molecule's neighbor, like money in a strip club attracts naughty behavior. Now, while I have your attention, I should mention this phenomenon known as hydrogen bonding gives a high surface tension. Water isn't controversial for this purpose. It holds to any surface, no matter what the color is. I say this in cadence with the patients, not to give you the runaround, but to relate it, so you can take in that whether or not you hate chemistry, you embrace it every day. Thank you.